the second Sunday after Pentecost, year A. From the Gospel according to Matthew, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There's a lot of change going on right now. Folks emerging or planning to emerge from quarantine, more and less. Folks calling for racial justice and police reform, more and less. People gearing up for the general elections, more and less. As we make our own choices in the midst of this and other forms of change, our readings for this week invite us to consider our encounters with change as a form of discipleship. Our gospel sets the tone with Jesus' comment about the harvest. Now, when you harvest, you gather in, for your own benefit or that of others, what you may or may not have had a hand in sowing. Afterwards, Jesus sends the disciples out, and his instructions are to take things as they come, confident that God will be with them. Sarah's laughter reveals to us just how hard it can be to follow those instructions. Disappointed and scorned for years as childless, she is asked to believe that she will be a mother. I imagine her laughter is bitter. When confronted with it, Sarah's afraid. By the time Isaac's born, however, Sarah has learned to embrace that laughter. She has learned, in the words of Paul to the Romans, to boast in her sufferings, knowing that her suffering produced endurance and endurance character, and character the hope that does not disappoint, because the God she had hidden from in fear did indeed pour out love into her heart. This transformation from bitterness to hope and even to delight, this is the pathway of discipleship. This is what it means to lift up the cup of salvation, no matter what that cup may hold. We call upon the name of the Lord to bless that cup to our good. Let us therefore embrace that transformation in the midst of the changes in our world, even or especially in the midst of the changes that are painful, justified by our faith in the God who pours out love into our hearts as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.